Yeah, so for these deals, you have to buy the five piece kit, which is 450, and you get two free tools. All right, guys. First of all, I want to start it off by saying I hope everybody is well. Uh, I apologize for the lack of uploads. Uh, it's been a little hectic. Uh, both my daughter's birthdays are the last few weeks, so it's been a little crazy, and obviously the holiday's coming up. But I'm hoping to get back into it here, so hang with me. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. I've been getting a lot more subscribers, and uh, I appreciate it. Make sure, I don't know if you did, but hit the notification bell. That way every time I put out a new video, I'm going to try to do it at least every week or two once I get past this crazy pan part of the uh, thing here. Um, today I want to do a quick video. I did this last year on uh, all the Black Friday deals, the tools. And I just happened to finally get a chance to read over all the uh, the deals from Lowe's and Home Depot. And I want to give you guys uh, you know, a heads up. I know there's a lot of new people and uh, newcomers to the uh, tool world here in my uh, videos. So what I can tell here is uh, as far as Home Depot goes, uh, I, I, I actually posted the ad from last year and it looks like it's very similar. What I'm looking at is the same, uh, the same saw that I have or that I had is on sale for $2.99 again, just like it was last year's ad. Uh, you still got the DeWall kit, $4.99. And I think uh, there's still some uh, drill and driver kits on here. Uh, obviously battery deals. And then that Porter Cable uh, kit with the three, uh, three nailer or two nailers and a stapler. That's still $1.99 again this year. So it's very similar to last year. Uh, for some reason they're not, as of right now, today is the 22nd. Uh, so the Friday before Black Friday. As of right now, Home Depot still doesn't have anything listed here as far as an ad for Black Friday. So I'm not sure if they're even doing it this year or if they're just doing these early Black Friday deals that are very similar to last year. So it seems kind of strange. So I'm just going to go over these, these same deals, um, same as they were last year. So I just went to shop Black Friday uh, pre-deals and it's all the, all the, and I just clicked on tools on the sidebar here and then all this stuff comes up. So as far as all the deals, it's the same as, as last year for the most part. Um, battery bit sets. Here's two DeWalt bit sets for 120 pieces. That's 20 bucks. So that's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of storage things. The Milwaukee storage containers and stuff like that. Those are nice buy if you need some organization. Um, as far as this goes, it's all it's similar. The only thing I notice is that the uh, the miter saws aren't on sale yet. Uh, like I had in the in the previous video. Uh, the one was on sale, but this year uh, I don't see any on sale yet. But I don't know if they're going to do, they might just do like a sale every day of certain things. Something along those lines. Or maybe they're just waiting until the last minute to bring the ad out. But it just seems kind of strange because usually everybody's out by now. These are all pretty similar to the same ads. Um, the only difference I did notice, and um, I'm going to refer back to last year's ad, is um, they're still doing the tool deals, but I think the price is a little bit different. So they're still doing right now. Here, here's last year's ad. So they had all these bit sets. They might have or these uh these two pieces. So the tool sets here, uh, these were two ninety nine for the smaller sets, and that was without a free tool. It looks like. Let me see. So here's last year's. So they were giving away. So it was three forty nine for the rigid. And then you get two free tools. So let me see what we got here. Because they're still doing the two free tools here, as you can see. But I don't think it's $349. I think it's a little bit more. But let's take a look real Yeah, so for these deals, you have to buy the five-piece kit, which is $450, and you get two free tools. Or batteries. You can get a two-pack of batteries. So with this, uh, it's it's $100 more, but you're buying more tools. You're getting five tools and then another two tools. Where on this one, it looks like it was, let's see. Uh, well, it lists as six tools, but it looks like they got the battery charger in there too. So yeah, the price has gone up a little bit. It's not as cheap as it was last year. Uh, very similar setup that they're doing though. 
Uh, this one, it obviously, you, it looks like that's a hammer drill kit, so they're giving you the hammer drill, the flashlight impact. So any one of these kits, these are all the ones online. They're all the same kit. It's just they're showing you different, two different things that you can get added on, so you can choose it online and order it if you want. So that's it uh, with that. And then if you want to buy a a battery kit, you get it. You can actually have a free battery or free tool too. So you could actually do that if you wanted just one tool. You could buy the battery kit and then just get whatever tool you wanted to go with it. So they're doing that for all the brands: Milwaukee, Dewalt, Ryobi. They're all going to be a little bit different price. I personally like the Rigid only because they have the warranty. Not many of these tool brands will give you a lifetime warranty. So if you buy the Rigid from Home Depot and you go online and register, I think it's within 90 days of purchase, you have to register all the tool serial numbers. And if you ever have a problem with one, you can take it back to Home Depot. And I think the batteries, you can just go online and file a claim with Rigid. So that's kind of nice. I don't think any other brands do that, which is why I do like the Rigid. And that's why I've been purchasing Rigid as most of my tools of choice because that is a huge thing I'm a big uh, warranty kind of guy because you know you never know when something's gonna go bad I mean the batteries die they'll even give you a new battery without even questioning it so that's kinda nice so definitely look at the rigid if you like DeWalt and Milwaukee you can also go with those two and then like I said with the other ones let me go back to here again so right now they got the Black Friday deal so if you click on here shop now then you can go down here to tools and it'll narrow it down to just the tools and like I said they have that same table saw so they have a uh, what is this, 8 piece kit of DeWalt uh, 20 volt that's $500 that's not bad for DeWalt kit you got your nailers you know, I'm sure there's going to be some bit sets in here let's take a quick look through but yeah I don't know what they're going to do about the ad I'm guessing my my only assumption is they're not actually going to do a, a formal ad because I would have thought they would have had it out by now and it looks like all these deals are going on right now and I, it doesn't even say how long these deals are going on for so I don't know if they're going to run them right through or if it's just for this weekend or if it's going to end tomorrow I honestly don't know but they just put a bunch of different kits together here depending on what you're looking for there's a nice whole saw kit if you're in the market for whole saws it's $130 and you get 28 pieces of different size hole saws. I mean, that's I mean, not everybody's gonna need hole saws, but if you do, that's that's a really I mean, that's a $250 kit I think all day long, so it's like half off. Uh, they have the Bosch table saw, like I said before, that's 450 instead of 300 for the rigid one, so you can make a choice there. And then you're also getting the, I believe the table saw also has a warranty too on rigid. So if you like warranties like me, I, I always lean towards the rigid stuff especially considering it's usually a little bit cheaper than most of it too and then you're also getting the warranty uh, you got levels you got the miter saw and stands I don't see any miter saws uh, on sale yet I don't know if that's going to be a late edition because I know they had it on sale last year maybe it's farther down in these pages we'll have to see so they have a bunch of different kits depending on what you're looking So there's a lot of different options. If you if you know what kind of tools you want for a kit, there's usually a, a, a kit that has the tools you want, or you can actually make a kit that has the tools you want, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to buy all the tools if you're not going to use it. Because some of these have, like, grinders. I mean, I don't know if you're going to need a grinder. You know, you're probably better off with a Dremel tool than a grinder, and, you know, most people are probably going to get more use out of that. But at least they give you the option so you can do different things. The other thing I don't see on here is the Craig jig. I did not see a deal for the Craig jig setup, which they had last year. So we'll have to see if that comes up. Obviously, I'm just scrolling through this real quick to see if there's anything that catches my eye in the tools. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens if they do. I mean, if I'll, I'll, I probably won't be able to put a video up just saying if the ad came out or not but just follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be sure to post if they do put an ad out I'll post out uh, any uh, of the tools that they added on that I think would be a good deal and that way you can you can see it on there and if there's anything that comes up I'll add it on so that's about it I don't see any Craig jig I don't see any miter saw deals so yeah I guess we'll see if they do come out with an ad uh, if not 
um, there's my recommendations if you want a tool kit you can they uh, I think Lowe's is doing just one free tool and I think the prices are pretty similar so uh, Home Depot might be the better option for tools right now for 18 volt or 20 volt tools so I would definitely check that out um, but we'll go over and take a look at the at the Lowe's ad but there's the Home Depot ad so then if we look at the Lowe's ad uh, the one thing I did see, there's a couple good things going on here. Uh, there's a nice couple dr uh, drill kits for DeWalt if you want some drill bits. Um, like I said with the other bits, um, the drill bits are nice. So if you can get a kit that has uh, nice carb uh, black oxide drill bits or something, that's a nice setup. Now this Cobalt kit here at Lowe's uh, seems to be a really nice deal. They have a 24 volt uh, tool kit. Looks like it comes with seven pieces of cordless tools for 400 but then they're throwing in their 24 volt cordless miter saw which is a seven and a quarter so it's a smaller one but for a beginner that's going to give you a good probably eight inch cut width because it's sliding and it runs on battery so you get the battery you get the whole battery kit and then you get what is a 270 dollar miter saw so that's actually a really good deal and and i think uh, i've had some cordless or, or some cobalt stuff in the past and it's it's been really decent stuff so i can't complain there Let's see what else they got down here. Uh, so they got a 10 inch uh, sliding compound miter for $200, the Cobalt brand. There's that Cobalt table saw for $200. So it's $100 cheaper, but like I said, you got to keep in mind, this one does have rolling wheels too. Unfortunately, the surface area is a lot smaller on this one for, for putting sheets and stuff. That's why I like the rigid one better. But if you want to save another $100 and get something that's pretty decent, I think it's still 15 amp and 10 inch. So that's not bad at all. Uh, there's some nice bit sets up here by DeWalt. DeWalt makes nice bit sets and drill bit sets. So that's a nice set for $20 if, you're, if you if you want to go to Lowe's instead. Uh, looks like Shopback's doing a $40 Shopback from $100 if you're in the market for a Shopback. I prefer the Shopback brand and the Rigid brand. Those are really good Shopbacks. Uh, there's a nice DeWalt kit here, which is one of the basic ones. Comes with two small batteries. That's $250. That's not bad. So here's the DeWalt setup. It looks like they're doing, so there's three different options here. And then there's an add-on. Looks like you get one thing for free. Looks like they're doing it on all the brands here. So that's the 20 volt DeWalt. So you buy one of these kits and then you can add on one, one extra tool or battery or charger. Same with the DeWalt. They have two different kits with an add-on. So they're, they're giving away one add-on. Where Home Depot is giving away two add-ons. So you make your choice there. Uh, there's the Bosch brand, there's the Cobalt brand, the Carry Craftsman. That's probably going to be your best deal at Lowe's if you want to get into an entry level setup. Because here you can get a four tool kit for 200 and then you get a fifth tool. So you get five tools for 200 on that one. And that's 20 volt as well. Uh, more DeWalt setups. So they have a couple kits. They got a 12 inch compound miter saw for 200 that's not bad, but that's their entry, la uh, entry level miter saw, so you got to be aware of that. They got a nice tool uh, battery pack here. So you get four batteries for 159. That's reasonable. Get some nice tool kits here, bit sets. Uh, this one's uh, so they're 1898 for each of them. That's pretty decent. I mean, I don't know how good the cobalt bits are, but still for 19 dollars, you get looks like a 106 piece or a 230 piece bit set. That's not bad. There's some air compressors. Uh, here's the Bosch version of table saw for similar to the rigid one, which is also pretty much a direct comparison to the rigid. They want $449 for that one, where the rigid was $299. So you can see where the price difference is there. And there's the Craftsman version of the table saw, which is about the same size as that Cobalt one. It's probably very similar. And that one's 159 but that one does not have wheels. Neither does the DeWalt one, which we'll get to in a second. I think it's farther down here. So the Craftsman, like I said, the Craftsman kits aren't bad. You can get a huge Craftsman kit here for $300, marked down from $450. That's a good starter kit. You got some clamps, some wrenches. So depending on what you need for a starter kit. Uh, there's a nice router bit set here if you're into the routers. If that's something you're getting into. And then we're getting into, these are the tool kits I was looking at. So this one here is a mechanic set, that's $100. And then this is a nice household 200 piece set for $100. So 
like they say here it's like a $500 value so those are really too decent if you want some hand tools those two sets would be or something to look at for $100 a piece. You got the DeWalt table saw they got the DeWalt miter combo where you can get the free stand so for 400 bucks you get the free stand for the miter saw and that's their that's their top level miter saw 12 inch 15 amp and then that's their table saw so that's about it I think um, these guys you know they're still doing they're doing a different Craig jig here where you get a bigger so for 139 you're getting the uh, huge screw sit, set kit to throw in and the clamp so you can do that too that's not bad so that's forty dollars more you get a couple extra little things but I would definitely get in if you're gonna think doing pocket hole especially with what we got going on with the cabinet build I'm gonna do a lot of pocket hole on that so that's something you might want to look into getting into and here's looks like the craftsman version of that rolling tool kit box kit that's only eighty bucks so they're the cheapest out of those it just depends on what the quality is. That's about it for that. Um, that just gives you an idea, it gives you some choices of what you want to do. Let me just get out of here. And I'll show you. So over here, you can see I got all my ridges stuff up here. But there's the Craig jig. So you get that kind of kit for $100. Like I said, that's usually over $100 just for that. So you can see it over there on the wall. But yeah, now this, like I said, this this is the 10-inch version of that 12-inch one, but I think I paid 300 for this, uh, and you can see how big this is in accordance to my hand, and that's only a 10-inch, so the 12-inch blade's going to be even a little bit bigger. But for two or for $300, that's very reasonable for for this saw, so I would definitely jump on that. But that's about it. My old table saw is gone, like you, like I said, and uh, the new one's in here now. So that's just a rough idea of the deals going on. And like I said, hang with me. We're going to get back into the cabinet build, do the second part of that. And I'll get that video up as soon as I can. In the meantime, I'll leave some links for the Home Deep, Depot. Uh, see if I can dig up. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the links yet because they're Black Friday ads. But if I can get them, I'll leave them in the description below. And you can check them out. And um, use those links if you want to buy some stuff or buy do your shopping. And you know, as an affiliate, I'll get a kickback. So I would appreciate that. Support the channel. Definitely hit the notifications. Check out the website if you haven't. And hit me up on Instagram and Facebook. I'll leave some pictures to some of these tools on there of all these deals going on. And stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff coming up. This is going to happen. It's going to be a fun year. The new year is coming up. Just got to get through these this holiday season and uh, and we'll start jamming out some more projects. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.